This week a UK judge ruled that a Christian run bakery discriminated against a gay customer by refusing to make a cake with a pro-gay marriage slogan. Asher's Baking Company, based in County Antrim, was taken to court by gay rights activist Gareth Lee. Hello, this is Nick Barnes with Bible in the News. We read in Isaiah 5, verses 20 and 21, Woe unto them that call evil good, and good evil, that put darkness for light, and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet, and sweet for bitter. Woe unto them that are wise in their own eyes, and prudent in their own sight. And the Bible teaches that sexual immorality, whether fornication, adultery, or homosexuality, is wrong, and rightly so, for the consequence of such behaviour is family breakdown with all its social ills, with children and the innocent party being the first to suffer. And in the UK alone, hundreds of thousands of sexually transmitted infections occur each year. Unnecessary cases which can ruin lives, including those not immediately responsible, such as the spouses of the unfaithful, unborn children, and even the thousands of haemophiliacs who perished due to contaminated blood products produced in the 1980s. And yet modern Western society is so obsessed with sex and with sexual freedom that it is treated as a right and as a necessity of life, like having food to eat. The freedom to fulfil one's lusts outweighs all its evils and certainly is more important than allowing a poor and principled baker to make an honest living. And it is as fundamental as that. The Equality Commission were reported as suggesting that Ashes should close down if unwilling to conform. Guesthouse owners have already been driven out of business and out of home by similar judgments, and employees in many fields already have to choose between signing ethics policies which are contrary to Bible teachings and losing their jobs. In politics, it is said, extreme right meets left, as a comparison of Stalin and Hitler soon demonstrates. Likewise, laws in Western countries have become so permissive and so against discrimination that they have become authoritarian and discriminatory. In their rush to protect sexual freedom, they have become like the Catholic Church in the Middle Ages, who caused all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, so that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark. We read in Revelation 13, verses 16 and 17. Woe unto them that call evil good, and good evil, that put darkness for light, and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet, and sweet for bitter. Woe unto them that are wise in their own eyes, and prudent in their own sight. And God will judge the world and its wickedness in his own good time. It is not for Bible believers to take the law into their own hands, for God says, Vengeance is mine, I will repay. And until then, believers will have to be willing to suffer for righteousness' sake, and that may mean the loss of employment and income. Incidentally, the conclusion of the Ashes Bakery case coincided with the showing at the Cannes Film Festival of the film Carol, a, and I quote, coming-of-age lesbian drama. Apparently, I quote, this sensuous and deeply felt love story is already a hot contender for an Oscar. This is a corrupt and corrupting society, where journalist, judge and filmmaker combine to raise sexual freedoms to a top of a hierarchy of rights, and together they are not judging a bakery, they are judging God. Why Ashes, the bakery website asks? Its answer is that, Contrary to popular opinion, we are not called Mr. and Mrs. Asher. Our name comes from the Bible. Asher was a tribe of Israel who had many skilled bakers and created bread fit for a king. 
drawn from Genesis 49 verse 20. How long, we wonder, will it be before these that are wise in their own eyes and prudent in their own sight would ban the Bible altogether? We pray that, God willing, such a time never comes, and instead the time will first come when God will set his king upon his holy hill of Zion, for then he will break them with a rod of iron, and shall dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. Be wise now, therefore, O ye kings, be instructed, ye judges of the earth, serve the Lord with fear, and rejoice with trembling, as we read in Psalm 2. See you again next week for another Bible in the News.